Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ungil Zalalem and today we're talking about the debate that is going on in Kenya in regards to GMO, which is genetically modified organisms, right? In Kenya, GMO was banned for the longest time, but now since there's a new government in town, they have lifted the ban and 57% of Kenyans are not happy with that decision and they don't trust GMO products. But the government officials are determined to allow GMO in Kenya. We have so many things that can kill us in this country. Being in this country, you are a candidate for death. <laughs> and because there's so many things competing for death, there's nothing wrong with adding GMO to that list. <laughs> that is why we have... As you heard, he's saying Kenyans are dying every day with, you know, other diseases what's the big deal if they just add one thing to the list i thought that was really <laughs> insane because that is coming from a government official like governments are supposed to be in that position to make our lives better to reduce the chances of you know us dying but for him to take it that lightly and say it's just one additional thing it it didn't come off well and the fact that other ministers felt the need to clap for him and agreed with him does not look good and kenyans at least 57 percent of kenyans don't agree with this sentiment and they're not happy with that and our very own philip scott agrees with that because he was giving an interview in kenya and they asked him what his thoughts are about gmo and this is what he answered on this lifting of a ban from of some of their products and said then that came at a time when kenya was lifting that particular ban so the conversation ongoing was that then why we are lifting this ban so that we can create market for the west they said that this is this are foods that you consume you are mostly used to this in the west in kenya and africa we don't even have enough capacity for this science and technology I don't know how you would speak to this particular issue. I will say this. Do you want to die? Okay. Do you want to die? Not when it's on my time to die. Okay. You let GMO foods in your country, you're going to have the same cancers, the same sicknesses that we have in the West with all this GMO and chemicals in our food. See, you guys eat much cleaner than we do because you don't have all them chemicals and all the additives and things in your food. I feel so much better when I eat the food here, when I eat the fruits here. When you go back to the West, your stomach starts hurting and everything because they put too much trash in the food. So anybody that wants to protect their country, keep GMO out. I guess she didn't expect that answer, but you know, it has to be said, somebody needs to stand up for the people and say, no, just because there's financial benefits doesn't mean that you have to take everything that someone throws at you. You have to always put your people and health first. So what if there's a lot of issues already in Kenya, your job, is to make it easier to reduce those issues that are in your country, not to add to it. It's just very, very sad. And I really hope Kenyans stand up and really voice their opinion because clearly majority of Kenyans don't agree with this and they're not happy with their government's decision. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. I am Ungil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.